just going to go on ahead and take the intake manifold off again and uh, replace the hydraulic valve lifter. All right, engine people. Who can guess by looking at this hydraulic lifter what's wrong? So I found this clip down in the valley of the engine. So normally that clip holds this little plunger down inside. It can only come up so much. Because that clip was gone, it just kept filling up with oil and it kept getting taller and taller. And that resulted in a ton of pressure on the lobe. But yeah, the lobe is trashed, but it still does have a lobe, so it's gonna run, but its days are numbered. Getting in the zone. Oh good, my tag is still on the wall. Let's change a lifter. Need to give the van some more test driving before I drive it to LACR this weekend to race. So Louise is getting picked up from school in motocrossing. What's up, Louise? Remind me that my headlights are on when we get there. We're here. All right. All right, you dummies. blisters on my feet on my ankles. Uh, yeah. Now people are going to want to borrow your boot stuff because it won't be as gross <laughs> to borrow them. <laughs> it's nice to see somebody else working on a van for a change. I had to watch YouTube <laughs> to figure out what to do. But that's the thing with this newfangled technology. You can't just work on it. Even a light bulb change.
what I did. Your tire caught it. Yeah. That guy might need some work on his starts. Yeah. Hey Shasta, you're the only person I have to talk to, or the only living creature I have to talk to, so we have to talk. How was your experience at the track today? Did you pee on a lot of stuff? I felt like garbage on the bike, Shasta. So I ended up just practicing starts, because Anytime I left the ground on the bike, I felt completely out of control today. It was kind of weird. I gotta go to Temecula Motorsports to get me some coolant because all my practice starts made my engine run hot and my radiator boiled over a little bit. So yeah, it's true. It's raining. Got my stuff. So just did Moto 1, spun off the gate, but that didn't really matter because the guys I'm racing against are sandbag and hardcore. It feels like a bag of sand when you're touching it. Bag of sand? And I'm not trying to be Mr. Excuse Guy or anything, but they're doing the same lap times as the intermediate class, and I'm racing novice. And that's not cool, man. I think I'm the definition of a novice racer. Like I should be finishing in the middle of a pack. I am the average novice racer. But these guys are little trophy goblins stealing up trophies. I think uh, race series need to have a mandatory upgrade rule. Upgrade. They do it in cycling. But in motocross, you can just stay in whatever class you want and just clean house. And the whipper machine. 